You see that? <laughs> Look at my chain. It is way too loose. So I guess that is the first thing. Gonna be. This is my chainsaw. This is a professional lumberjack's chainsaw that he's lending me. And this is Ben's chainsaw that I bought him like in 2014 in our first construction. Thing is, in my last video, this one here, that mine, was not cutting very well. So I'm gonna examine and compare. And I got a brand new chain here. I'm gonna show you guys my sharpening job and my chain. And we're gonna try to figure out why it's not cutting. You see that? <laughs> Look at my chain. It is way too loose. So I guess that is the first thing. Because I was looking at the way that I sharpened my chain. And to be honest, I see a little bit of edges that are, you know, that are chipped off right here. That I see this, this one wouldn't cut too well. Um, that one's not too bad. And then I looked at the rakers. And... Honestly, looking at the rakers, they're not too high yet. So, and I see the gullet, you know, right here. I'm trying not to get it to focus on my fingers, but it's a little hard. <laughs> the gullet right here isn't that bad either. So I'm thinking that maybe it's just the way that my chain was too loose on here. And so also looking at Ben's chainsaw right here, it looks pretty similar. Look at that. It's almost factory already. Like, I didn't think like I'd, uh, I didn't, this one is a steel chain. I don't know if this one is a steel chain, but I mean, It looks factory. See, it's not that bad. So I'm gonna definitely see what I can do with the steel two and one sharpener. But honestly, it doesn't look too bad. If you look at the the edge, like of course the edge has to be a little bit worked on. This one is a lot sharper and straighter than this one here, so I'm gonna have to work on this edge here, but overall, I don't think it's too bad. This is the uh, Lumberjacks, right? Jeff Wood, his name is, is a... <laughs> uh, come on, focus, buddy. See, his edges aren't as straight as I thought they would be. So, that one's not bad. And the gullets seem relatively good too. I'm having such a hard time focusing, guys. So yeah, I think first thing that I'm gonna do is just get this tightened. And then I'm going to, Ben said I could use his too, but I'm trying, I'm really trying not to use his stuff. Cause I mean, we're trying to be on the best terms right now, but it's not very easy, but yeah. Anyways. So I'm going out to the property today. I'm going out with one of my friends, Sunny. He's the one that's helping me build uh, my project. He's got a lot of time this summer, so we're gonna I'm gonna set these up on the on the pickup and you know sharpen them the way that I think that I could. I got this steel two-in-one sharpener, and it does the rakers at the same time, and so hopefully that'll give a good a good boost. I got some protective gloves, and I also got two new chains for me to uh, work with so I can switch them out when one of them gets dull. I also bought, I swear I'm not sponsored, some new chaps, <laughs> some new steel chaps because mine were just like dragging all over the floor and, uh, and, and getting, it was a little dangerous, I was tripping on them a little bit so I had to get some new ones. So yeah, I'm excited to see uh, what I can do get done today. As you guys uh, know from the last videos, I uh, am going to get notarized on the 25th of April. That's why I went out with my uh, with my axe last week and I was like, you know, I'm just gonna start doing this for now until I can actually get my protective gear uh, for my chainsaw and get everything in order. 
So I have been starting to get my plans drawn up and I'm going to put it all um, on a on grid paper and show you guys as soon as it's done and to show you guys what the plan is and uh, yeah so things are moving along slowly but I mean they're, they're still moving along I found somebody to possibly buy my camping spot where my camper is so I'll be able to grab my camper the uh, the shed and the, um, the little terrace that's where the camper is and bring that all over to the property as soon as we get the excavator out and clear out a spot for it. So that's why it's important for us to go clear out a little bit of trees today. Hopefully it'll go a little faster than I would like, but the snow and the rain slowed us all down. I was actually supposed to have a little course this Friday, but because of all the rain, we weren't able to get out there. And so we put it off till next Friday. So I'm just going to try to figure this out on my own <laughs> for today and get it to cut a little bit better and or else you know my friend Sonny has a has a chainsaw of his own so he'll be able to help me out with that so yeah uh, that's where I'm at right now so I'm gonna head out just in a few minutes my daughter is a little sick she got scarlet fever strep throat I think it's called and with hives all <laughs> poor things so she doesn't want to be on camera she's just like a little insecure about that but, uh, hopefully I don't catch it <sighs> I don't want to get sick right now. It's not the time. So I'm going to get all my things ready and I'm going to go out to the property. And before going out there, I just wanted to mention because I get a lot of comments saying, you know, hey Mallory, don't worry, you know, plenty of fish in the sea or like Mallory, you look super happy, you look fulfilled and you're doing what you love. And I'm like, yeah, of course, I can see the positive in a lot of the little things, but just know that I am going through a separation right now. I'm still living with Ben in this house and we're trying to make things work for the kids, but I still have those momentary breakdowns, which I think is completely normal. I My healing process hasn't completely started, even though it's been a few years that like it's been in the works and it's been in the process behind the scenes. It's still very much hard emotionally. So I just, you know, wanted to let you guys know that um, I'm not seeking for a man <laughs> right now. Uh, I know there are plenty of fish in the sea, but I'm on dry land and I'm just working on my shit right now, to be honest. And I'm trying to, you know, make things work because going from staying at home for almost 10 years and not having a, a salary, only having this YouTube and little here odd, je odd jobs here and there. And going to building a cabin mortgage free with the pro you know with the money that I have made over the years on this house well it's it's a lot and I just you know I, I know that I maybe look happy and fulfilled but I still have those breakdowns and it's just normal so anyways maybe one day I'll attract that fish. <laughs> that whale that very rare being but for now I'm just I'm just working on myself and trying to get through this little patch because it's it's extremely difficult so yeah anyways I just wanted to put that out there I'm okay but I mean it's it's still very much hard and so I uh sympathize for all you guys that have went through this process in your guys's lives I know it's like divorce rate is 50% I never thought I'd be in part of that 50% but I mean, hey, shit happens. Oh, la la. It's big. You wanna... <laughs>
literally the first time that I can come in with my truck. Yeah. No more snow. You're happy to be here? Yes. Yeah, I'm happy yeah. too. Oh yeah, that's there's still snow over there and it's still a little soggy, but I mean it's not that bad. Alright, I have my friend Sunny out here helping me out, and I'm here literally fixing my chain because uh, this thing is really awesome. I don't think I'm gonna need a course because I literally looked at everything on the internet. And I know what I'm looking for in a sharp chain to have that hook straight. And uh, I'll show you once I'm done, but I'm pretty proud of what I'm achieving right now with this sharpness, so that's awesome. I know it seems like I'm going a lot, but it's just because I had just so far from straight. I chipped off the, the edges of the hook, so. I gave it a shot. It's really hard to focus, but the most important thing that I wanted was to get these bars straight, you know, in the guide and get the edge sharp. So right here, that's super sharp. And so I really am enjoying the sharpening. This one isn't as what I would like it to be, but it's almost there, you know? So that one here is super sharp right here. And the rakers got filed down as well with the two in one. All right, my friend, uh, Papa Bear that I met on TikTok. He's here and he's helping me fell a few trees and I just got done with my chain. Hopefully it'll do much better than last time. So this is where my house is going to be and I'm clearing out a little space here. I'm just clearing out the branches and the little things of all the trees that I'm going to cut down first and then once I feel like it's clear enough then I'll be able to fell the bigger trees but I'm just getting back into it but my chain, <laughs> I did it, I did it without anybody. With uh, your guys' YouTube videos that you sent me out with uh, Billy, um, ah, what's his name? Billy Bucking Saws, I don't know. Anyways, big shout out to him. The link will be in the description below because I learned a lot from just watching his videos, which is awesome. It's so much different cutting with a chainsaw that really cuts. It's awesome. <laughs> Il pas allé le bord que je voulais. Tabarnak. <rire>
Première prise, 15 avril, Mallory sur son sapin. <rire> oh. All right. Let's do this. Papa Bear m'a donné un petit mini cours. Tu le vois, là, il y a son angle de tomber, là. Ouais, idéalement, ton, ton trait, il est pas assez gros. Bon! Mais là, un petit peu moins, moins, moins oblique. Va chercher plus loin dans ton bisou. T'as vu aussi qu'on voulait... Yes, faire. merci. All right, so that's it for today. I got, we got a little bit down, Sunny came and helped me for this part here. And I was keeping a perimeter, you know, so that we were being safe and not, not to hurt ourselves. And uh, he gave me a little course on how to actually fell a tree because I had one way of doing it, but it was the, it was with the way with the wedges. So I was happy to learn that today. Come back and get all these cleared out, cut them up in to nine feet, eight feet, whatever I feel is best for me. And that's what it's gonna be. I'm so happy my chainsaw cuts really good now. I'm excited. Wanna say hi, Papa Bear? Thank you, Papa Bear. Hi. <laughs> I met him on TikTok, and he lives in my village. <laughs> and he's a DJ, right? DJ, DJ Papa Bear. DJ Papa Bear on TikTok. So him and his wife offered me a lot of time this summer to help me out, and I'm forever grateful for them. So that's it for today.